Holiday season might seem far away, but preparations are already underway to make sure that every child has a gift this year. Toys for Tots gearing up for their annual drive, but they cannot do it alone. News 10 ABC's Michaela Singleton explains the challenges they are facing and how you can help now. A beautiful summer's day to touch up on your golf swing and maybe think ahead to the winter holidays. The Capital Region Toys for Tots campaign hopes you'll tee off with them Friday, August 18th during the unofficial kickoff to their gift collection season. So it's coming quick again. Marine Staff Sergeant Ted Klinuski says between moving locations, increased need and decreased donations during last year's campaign, they really need a mulligan. This year, the annual fundraising golf tournament moving to a new green at Fairways of Half Moon. I don't know of anybody who lives here who has, has not heard of the Toys for Tots campaign. And um, who doesn't love that and who doesn't want to help a child? Klinuski reiterates theirs is the third largest campaign in the world, serving more than 300,000 kids. They're currently below the signups they'd like to see for the golf tournament, and that could trickle down to the presents they can prepare this Christmas. And that donation at the beginning of the season is really what helps us kind of kick things off on the right foot. So the tournament is actually critical to our success every year as it brings in the much needed funds. This is our eighth year doing it, so it'd be kind of weird to not have that. Ideally, they'd like another dozen teams signed up by Saturday. If you're already looking for your weekly tea time, Klinuski says doing it for a kid's happy Christmas could be a real hole in one. And I know a big thing talking to many parents while serving in the Cap Region Toys for Tots is they don't want their kids to never, you know, have nothing to open on Christmas morning. That's every parent's probably biggest fear when it comes to that, right? Reporting in Half Moon, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.